So meet my nettles. I did a harvest today. And this is how I like to hang them up and get them to dry, kind of partially dry. And then if they don't seem to dry quick enough because of the weather, if it gets rainy out, which started to sprinkle out today, um, I'll garble them. And garbling is you hold your hand on the end and with gloves and pull it through. And, uh, or I've seen people just chop up the whole stalk and use that in their tea also. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just use the leaves. The stalks, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them later on. I'm gonna do a video. I'm probably gonna try to make a basket um, and a few other things with it to show you some ideas of what they did back in the day. Although this makes really great cordage, um, really strong cordage. And of course the best linens, the most beautiful linens came from nettles way a long time ago. <laughs> Nettles is one of my favorite all-time herbs. I've said this before, I always say it. It grows wild, it has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. It is quite the staple food. Like I've showed you in my videos, you can cook it, you can, um, you know, you can boil it. Well, I wouldn't say boil, but you could simmer it. You could put it in soups. You make it in tea. I make iced tea all summer long with it gives me those minerals when I'm sweating, it puts the electrolytes back. Um, helps, like, sometimes my knees will hurt from gardening a lot in my hands because my hands are always constantly pulling weeds or, you know, um, pulling up plants. So it really helps with the tightness and stiffness. And I'm not old, but I'm not young either. So I like to stay that way, feeling like I can keep moving around and not be stiff. Um, helps with gout, helps with um, bladder infections, uh, you know, all kinds of things. You can look, you can do a huge Google search on it. I've done plenty of videos on nettles, but today I just want to show you, um, this is kind of how I harvest it. We have these little wires, and this is in my garage. These little wires that we hang out. We used to hang our hemp on here to dry, and we had dehumidifiers running in here just to dry everything. If you ask me, I feel like nettles is way over hemp um there's more uses for i'm not saying i love cbd oil um, i've grown hemp for six years um i really do like nettles nettles is my all-time favorite herb i do love growing um hemp because the plant is just absolutely beautiful and it's taught me a lot in six years i learned a whole lot about new bugs but I'm on to better things now and I, I have so much hemp, I don't really need to grow any at this point. Not for a little while. So here is a, a you know, demonstration of what I do. You see how I just tie them, I have these twine. You can get a big, huge uh, thing of this. You can get two of these for $25. Just don't unravel that, baby. <laughs> Once you unravel it, you're, you're done. <laughs> and um, it lasts for years if you're just using it like this. So I just tie them, hang them on here. It's probably about 15, maybe 15 to 20 uh, hemp in each one. And, you know, just let them dry. This is a great way. I do have this little guy here um, for smaller herbs. And right now I wouldn't dry them in here because it's so wet outside and you just would be, they would dry, they would reconstitute, they would dry, they would reconstitute. So I have a few in the basket. And I'm just going to take down into my shop where it's really drier down. It's much drier down there. And if I wanted to, I could bring this little tent down there and put the little de um, uh, um, de dehydrator in there to pull out the water. And that's it. I just wanted to show you my little harvest. I took a couple pictures while I was inside here. It was very windy today, too. I had a few of them slap me in the face. Um, it didn't... I was stung a little bit, but um, when you're getting aggressive and you're really picking them, you've got to wear long sleeves, wear a hat, you know, wear gloves, wear boots, uh, long pants. Um, I have leggings on because it's kind of hot. I didn't want to wear jeans. And I still can feel the stinging through the leggings, you know, they're pretty thin. But right now is a great time to pull your nettles, hang them up, dry them. This might take a couple days to dry. If I find out they're not really drying quick enough, um, 
like I said, I'll, I'll garble them off. They'll be semi half dry and I'll finish drying them, you know, in baskets or um, put set this guy up and lay them to, out to dry. Nettles right now, um, I used to be able to buy nettles by the pound. It's between six and ten, uh, six and ten dollars a pound. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you look up nettles, you're gonna pay for good nettles, organic nettles, not sprayed, which I don't see why anybody would spray nettles anyways, it makes no sense. You find a little few green bugs on it here and there, worms, but that's on most of your plants. Um, you're gonna pay all oh, between 15 to 25 dollars a pound for nettles. It's a lot of work. Um, when you're harvesting herbs, you know you're gonna you're gonna work. And when it's hot out uh, and you have to harvest these, you're gonna sweat your butt off. <laughs> so make sure you bring your nettles tea and drink that while you're sweating to put your electrolytes back in. So there you have it. That's just my. Um, little harvest today and it started to sprinkle and rain out so I called it quits and I think tomorrow I'll just end up um, maybe doing another couple rows. I have two more wires up here and I'll end up hanging up a couple more rows of these guys. So I'll have quite a bit of nettles and believe me I can go through five maybe six pounds of nettles a year sometimes more. Uh, a lot of my formulas have nettles in them. Uh, I love putting nettles it, it's a great herb. I think everybody can benefit from it. Um, it's high in quercetin. Remember, we as we get older, we lose our quercetin. Our levels drop off. So you get your quercetin, you build your quercetin levels back up. You don't have those allergies. And you know it keeps you from the springtime when you're sneezing and the pollen's out. Um, you know, build up that quercetin. I know you can go take a tablet of quercetin. It's just not the same. You're getting natural, organic quercetin out of these plants. And it's just very valuable. You're building your, your body knows these plants. Our bodies understand how to use, you know, herbals, herbal supplement, herbal, um, anything that's herbal. Are, this is why these plants are here. And, you know, our ancestors, they survived by knowing how to use these for, for medicine, you know, um, for food, uh, for survival, for clothing. There's clothing that's made from nettles. Uh, I'm gonna be doing um, a cordage uh, right here. I've got some ready to go. And I'm gonna be making some um, thread and some cordage rope. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really cool, but not on this video. I just, I'm prepping right now and getting ready to, to show you how to do this. So that'll be in the next video. Well, maybe the next couple videos. <laughs> I have a lot more um, wild edibles to really, right now is prime time for everything. So I'm uh, working on trying to um, show you, see how long this is, trying to show you how to harvest, how to eat your wild edibles for uh, staple foods, for medicine, how to store it for the winter. Oh, I just picked another whole basket today while we were working in the uh, greenhouses of uh, um, plantain. And let me tell you, plantain's another one. You go look up the prices on plantain. Uh, it's right around the same price, about $20, $23 a pound. You might get lucky and find it for about $15, $10, $15 a pound, but I don't think it's organic. And when I say it's not organic, it means, are they picking it on the side of the road? I don't know. So when you see your plantain in the backyard, just pick it and put it in a basket, it'll dry. It'll dry in the house. And then you can crunch it up, put it in your jar and save it and have it for tea. You know, use it for uh, making, you can make an oil with it, you can make a salve with it. Don't make the oils with your fresh plants because oil and water doesn't mix. And that's a huge explosion for um, bacteria. You don't need to put that on your skin. You might get away with it for a month or so, but eventually it will turn rancid, like any oils will. And I like using the MCT oil. You can do the same thing with nettles. You can dry it. Um, there's a way to make you know, your herb, um, herbal oils, herbal essential oils, which are infused, they're called herbal infused oils, which I will have 
for sale on the website, um, hopefully by this fall. So yeah, just keep an eye out on the website and go on my YouTubes and look at, I think I have over 60 something videos here over the last few years. Um, I'm doing more and more uh, videos on wild edibles. Um, since my teachers have passed away, it's been pretty rough. <laughs> brings back a lot of memories. I spent six years with my teachers in the woods and gathering and learning how to, uh, you know, eat wild edibles. So I'm going to bring all those lessons. I was her apprentice and sooner or later I will find my own apprentice to help me um, do the wild edibles. Uh, I will be moving hopefully in a couple of years looking for more land so I will be opening a school of wild edibles and herbal medicinals. We'll be teaching a lot of classes and we'll be uh, showing you how to do all of this. And you know, every month there'll be a different class on a different herb and a different wild edible and how to use them for uh, staple foods, um, all kinds of fun stuff. You know, there'll probably be a whole weekend sessions. Um, it'll be great. I think everybody will benefit from it and I think we'll um, we'll have a great time. So I'm gonna sign off for now, and yeah, this is the nettles, my big patch of nettles. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next video. Take care, peace.